can we enhance this data graphic? How can we bring that message of the data out to the readers more strongly? How can we answer the question, is there a price to bear for being global? Does this price vary by sector? At a secondary level, we also want to know, is this price affected by the relative importance of multinationals in the industry sector? I first switched the stripes into dots and removed the grid lines. I also changed the color of the zero reference line from the bright red to a medium gray, pushing it into the background. The zero reference line is not very meaningful here because the primary comparison that we want readers to make is between the multinational firms and the local firms. We want eyes on the gap between the red and the blue dots. I edited all of the horizontal grid lines, removing the parts that exist outside the red and the blue dots. The reference line is turned into white, pushing it further into the background. Now I reordered the rows. The row for all industry sectors is placed first. The sectors that are shown on top are the ones in which the red dot is furthest away from the blue dots. This pulls out the story of the data graphic that in certain industries such as utilities and consumer goods, there is indeed a price of being global in terms of lower return on equity. The pie charts on the right side is still hard to understand. It's another case of dashed expectations. Given the red dots and the blue dots in the main part of the chart, readers are expecting to see red and blue sectors in the pie charts. But the pie charts only show the blue multinational sectors. It shows a light blue sector for others, which is not explained, and is also not necessary. So I took those light blue sectors out. The pie charts now show directly the importance of multinationals within any given industry sector. Another reason why the column of pie charts is hard to understand is the seemingly arbitrary order. So I reordered the rows yet again. This time, um, the all industries are still at the top, but the other industries are now arranged in terms of the importance of the multinationals from the most important to the least important. It turns out that these industries can be divided into groups based on how important multinationals are. The technology sector occupies its own group. Then the next four industries, they all have importance of around 75 to 85%. Given how closely those industries uh, cluster, we could replace the individual pie charts with one pie chart for each industry group. Now this move involves a trade-off. I'm trading off precision um, going from individual pie charts to aggregate pie charts in order to gain clarity. In this final graphic, we have answers. In aggregate and in the technology sector, there is no price for being global. Next industry group, including basic materials, diversified, and consumers, there is indeed a price to pay for being global. The other sectors show mixed results. So if there is a price, the price is not high. In summary, when making a data graphic, you must clearly articulate the questions that you would like the graphic to address. Prioritize those questions, as some questions are more important than others. Then design your visual to tell the story of the data. Make sure that your visual story is in sync with the data story. Do not let your visual contradict 
the story that you're trying to tell, and do not create expectations that your visual cannot deliver. If you like this video, share with your friends and hit that subscribe button. Contact me below if you'd like to suggest a topic for a future video. Principal Analytics Prep. Prepping you for the data revolution.